Hello everybody, Chris here, and today we're going to be doing a introductory video on Evernote. Evernote is basically a note tracking tool, which you can download for mobile devices, Windows, and just use straight in the web at evernote.com. And it allows you to create different notes, which can include files that you upload into the notes, could include just standard text, and you can create lists out of them, basically whatever you want it to be, it can be. Um, and with those notes, you can organize them by notebooks and by tags. So before we get further into this, if you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash christutorials. Thank you very much for your consideration. From the web interface of Evernote, you're going to be presented by default with basically an empty page that will say, click here to create a note as soon as you log in. Uh, with this, if you want to create the new note, you can do so over here on the left by clicking New Note. Now you click that, you're given the option to title the note, type whatever you want inside of the note, and up here you can see tags. Now tags, or taxonomy, are basically labels that you apply to a note, um, and also other notes as well, that associate them with each other. So if you had a bunch of shopping lists, you could use tags to identify that. So you could tag it shopping for instance and now this will be a searchable term where this note will show up by the keyword shopping now if you want to get a bit of title very self-evident so we just go here shopping list just typing on the keyboard and as soon as you click down to the body paragraph you'll see you're given a lot of standard text editor options including the ability to change the font font size bold italicize underline and probably even more importantly, uh, bulleted lists and numbered lists. So since we're doing a shopping list, let's go ahead and hit numbered list here and start typing some items. Let's say we were going for food, so maybe we want to pick up some rice, like a five pound bag of rice. I'll just put five LB there. And another item we might want to purchase is a bag of apples. How many apples do we actually want? Well, uh, normally I think I'd go by the pound for that too. So let's just say two apples and a box of granola bars. Granola is spelled with a G. Okay, so we have our shopping list here. If we wanted to, we could also drag and drop items from our desktop, like this uh, Google Docs for a resume, into this. We drag it in here and it will basically add it straight into the shopping list as a downloadable attachment. So anytime I would be to go back into Evernote and I wanted to retrieve this from any device that could connect into Evernote, I would just have to go and click this and it would download for me, which is great. You can also use this with images and uh, many other different types of media. Uh, keep in mind the free account does allow you about 60 megabytes of data per month, I believe, for how much you can upload and store online. So if you want more than that, you may have to upgrade to the premium version. So we have our tag here. Don't need to really change the font or mess around with any of the other settings here. This is just very simple. So we'll go ahead and hit done over here. Uh, now you will notice that you can actually share though. You can send notes to specific people or you can share on social media. Uh, the idea behind Evernote is not only that you can create lists, but also that you can share lists with other people, um, such as family members or co-workers at work. Now, uh, you'll notice one of the things here, it has a work chat here, so you can find other people on inside of Evernote, uh, maybe your co-workers or family who have already registered accounts for this, find them, start a chat, and start sharing these lists around with them, which is pretty nice, actually. So, if we want to, say, organize our notes into different notebooks, we could go down here uh, to notebooks. Now, a notebook is just basically, you could think of it like a folder that you stick all of your notes in. Now, you can have multiple folders if, for instance, you want to organize it. Um, we could say shopping notebook, and that would be fine. Then all our shopping materials would go straight into this notebook. Now, if we want to actually move that first note into here, what we can do is go back to the note, and you can see the um, the notebook that it's in right up here. It says first notebook right here, but we click on the drop down, put it in shopping, and great, it's already there in shopping. Now, if we go back over to tags, you'll remember that we did tag it shopping as well. Now, tagging it with the same 
word or a key phrase as the notebook itself, probably a bit redundant. It's up to you really how you want to organize your notebooks and your tags. The main difference is that a note can only have one notebook, but a note can have multiple tags. So um, if you want to associate a bunch of different keywords with your note, I would say go ahead and use tags over here. Now, as you add more tags, you would just, um, well, you add the new tags inside of the notes. So as you create more tags, you'll see them pop up here, and you can always see the number of notes which are associated with a given tag, in this case, shopping as one. So we click on that, and we can see all of our notes that actually have that tag. It's basically a lot like the uh, notebooks themselves. Like, we can see how many notes are in each of these, click on them, and see all of our notes ordered chronologically. Same idea, just tags. The notes can belong to multiple tags, but just one notebook, just to reiterate there. Now, the last thing that's going to be really important for you here is going to be shortcuts. Now, a shortcut is basically where you take a note, you add it to this list, and then it's going to be like a sticky list where all of your most important notes are going to show up here and you can add and remove them from this list as you want. So if we go back over to notes and we find our first note, the shopping list, you'll see the star. And if you click add shortcut, it's going to immediately add that note to our shortcuts list. So this is for priority notes, things you want to be able to access quickly or in the near future. So that's basically it for the core functionality of Evernote. If you use one of the mobile apps or the Windows version, you'll notice that it's basically got the same feature set, just organized a little bit differently. So I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.